Hello everyone, welcome to the WordPress carousel plugin video tutorial. Before going to the plugin features, let's see a few examples of the carousel and gallery showcase that can be created using the WP carousel plugin. You can create a beautiful image carousel, photo gallery, post carousel, post grid, WooCommerce product carousel and WooCommerce product grid with the WP carousel plugin. Once you have installed and activated the plugin in your WordPress dashboard, you will see a menu called WP carousel. When you click on it, it will take you to this page. Here you will find the list of your created carousel or gallery shortcodes. Now click add new to create a new carousel and give it a title. Then select source type from image, post and o product. Initially source type is selected as image. Now click add image to select images from your media. Then click create a new gallery and here you will find the list of your selected images. You can order the images by doing drag and drop like this. Click insert gallery to use those images for your carousel or gallery. Now let's see the post source type. You can see filter post is selected as latest that means all the post will be displayed in the carousel or gallery. Set how many post you want to display in the carousel or gallery. Next one is o product. Filter product and limit options are same as the post source type. So let's go back to the image source type and below that you will find several configuration tabs initially you will be in the general settings here you can select a layout type from carousel or gallery set carousel mode carousel column value order by and preloader option so now let's have a look at the carousel in the live preview before publishing to any web pages click show preview and you can see this is how the carousel looks like let's see an example of the layout type gallery so select gallery and if you update the preview, you can see this is how the photo gallery display in your web page. So let's go back to the carousel and move on to the style settings. Here you can show head the carousel section title and configure slider border, image size, image mode, lazy load and image title attribute. Next one is carousel settings. Here you will find the carousel control related properties like you can enable or disable autoplay, autoplay speed, pause and hover, infinite loop, carousel direction. Most importantly you can configure the navigation and pagination related properties like you can show hide the navigation and change the navigation color. So if I hide the navigation and update the preview, you can see the navigation has gone from the live preview. The pagination options are same as the navigation and below that you will find a few properties to be enabled or disabled. Now let's select the post source type and you will find a few related settings in the plugin style settings. Here you can show or hide the post title, post content, post date and author. So let's see how the post source type display in the live preview. As you can see this is how it displays. Let's hide the post content and go to the general settings and select layout type as gallery and you will find the pagination related properties at the bottom of the page. You can show head the pagination and set how many items you want to show per page or per click. So now if I update, you can see this is how the post grid display in the live preview. Now select O product source type and go to the style settings to find the related properties like you can show head the product name, product price, product rating and add to cart. So if I update the preview, you can see it is showing as a grid because I have selected layout type as grid. So you can see it again. This is how the product grid looks like. Go back to the page and select layout type as carousel and now if I update, you can see this is how the product carousel looks like in the live preview. So let's go back to the image source type and publish the shortcode and copy the shortcut from the bottom of the page and go to a page where you want to display it. Insert the shortcode in a text code or shortcut block, publish the page and view it. So this is how the image carousel looks like in the front end. So now let's go to the plugin settings menu. In the advanced settings you will find the options to be enable or disable all the CSS and JS used in the plugin to run it smoothly. Those are the responsive breakpoints. Write custom CSS here to modify the plugin default styling. Now let's move on to the tools menu. Using the tools menu you can export and import all the carousel shortcodes you have created using the plugin. 
that's all about the wp carousel plugin today in the upcoming videos i will show you how you can use all those features in the plugin to make your carousel or gallery even more attractive and meaningful until then take care